Hello and welcome to Taken Bags. Today we will be doing the video that you asked for for a long time. I'm finally doing it. It's not about bags this time, it's about tech and especially about the Nexus 7 2013 that we will put right now on Android 13 in 2023. So as you can see my tablet is already running Android 13. So I did it already, not filming it, sorry. So I will try to do it, uh, but not doing it. So I will do it as uh, if I were, was doing it, but I will not actually do it. So, so I think we will follow um, and I will try my best. So thank you very much because I don't, I don't want to put it again. Uh, you have to factory reset and everything. I don't want to do this again. So sorry for that, but follow along and follow until the end and after you should have something like this. A little warning I want to tell you is um, normally you can run the G apps on this ROM of Android 13 for Nexus 7 2013, but I had kind of an issue, I'm not the only one, uh, because there is something about the storage that is uh, too small uh, to accept the ROM from Android 13 and the G apps. Uh, you have different versions of the G apps, but the one I chose didn't work. The thing is, I don't need the G apps because I use this device to um, to read some some content, to watch some things, and for example, on YouTube you can use Brave as I just did here, and it works flawlessly. So if you need the G apps, uh, please be aware that it should work, but you may have some troubles. And uh, yeah, but in the tutorial that we will see, uh, it worked for some people. Okay, so here we have the tablet, Android 13. To show you that it's really Android 13, it's written right here. As you can see, Android 13, perfect. Okay, and just to show you, it works as in my other video that I posted uh, quite some time ago. It works perfectly, um, yeah. That's about it. Okay, um, so now that we I introduced the video with the tablet, um, you what you need to begin is a USB, uh, normal USB to micro USB that I plugged already uh, on the tablet. So micro USB, for those who don't know, it's the thing before the USB type C with the flat side. You can see here, okay. This is micro USB. Thank you very much. So you need to put it, you can plug it already because you will have to plug it into your tablet and it's easier to remove the other part. So you plug it in, you plug this right here. Okay. And now I think we will go to the computer to show you what you need to do. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we are back um, from the tablet and we are on the computer. So uh, this is the link I will put in the description down below. So you need to click on it. It's on XDA developers. Thank you to GB89 who did this tutorial. He did already some other tutorials for the Nexus 7 2012 that I did also with my other tablets. So we will just follow along because you just have to, to follow the steps. I will try to kind of do it at the same time, but uh, yeah. So first of all, um, you need to make sure that you have either the Wi-Fi or the LTE um, version of the Nexus 7 2013. So you have to make sure that this is really the Nexus 7 2013 by looking at the back. Um, and you need uh, the um, written Nexus vertically. Okay. For um, Watch my other video to see uh, if it's the same model or not. Then you need to, to know if you have the stock, the, sorry, the LTE or the Wi-Fi version. Uh, if it's the LTE, it's called DEB. In all the files and everything, it will be called DEB. If it's the Wi-Fi uh, version, it will co be called Flow. Okay. So uh, blah blah blah. So we have to make sure blah blah blah. We don't care. Some apps will not work. Um, and as I said already. The G apps, mm, not so much. 
it depends, but for me, they don't work. Okay, now you have to download, you click this link, okay, uh, in a private window, okay. So here you have um, some GB files. Yeah, it's working. You download this, like here, okay. Then uh, what you will have, you have the USB driver, fast boot, ADP, TWRP, flow, magic script, repartition, blah blah blah. So um, here you have the ROM. You need to download the ROM. Okay. So you click here, and you if you are here, if you have here the the flow or the dev. So the flow um, is the Wi-Fi, and this is the 4G. You download this also. Okay, and it just, yeah, dead Wi-Fi, okay. For me, it's the flow, so I need to download the, the flow one. So I go here, I click on the flow, and then I download, okay. Uh, you may also want lineage, yes, this you don't care, but if you want to have still the 18.1, which is on read 11, you can download it already. Here you have the G apps that I sh told you didn't work for me. But if you want any way to try it, you go right here. I opened it. And then uh, you have to find the core, which is right here. Okay. Um, there is another, yeah. You can you can maybe try with the new one, which is from June uh, 29th. I didn't try with this version. Maybe it will work better. Okay. Now that we have downloaded everything, we just um, go to the folder where I downloaded everything um, and it's right here. Uh, you have uh, the GB package. Okay, when you click on it, you have different things. Here you have the G apps. Here you have uh, this file, but I just, uh, it just zipped. I unzipped this file, so you click here. You unzip it, boom, and then you have this file, okay? This is a guide you can read. This is 18.1. This is 20 for the flow, which is the Wi-Fi version. Okay, so I downloaded everything. Now let's begin. I will close this. Okay. Install Windows drivers and backup. Go to the folder you unzipped earlier. Navigate to USB driver. Air 13 window. I will just do like this. Okay. So the folder you unzipped is GB. You go to USB driver here. Then you go here, okay. Then you right click on Android Win USB uh, .inf, which is this one, and select install. I think install right here, okay. So you do this, you click on install, it will install the USB driver for Android, okay. Then you need to restart Windows. So you do this, boom, you restart. Make sure Google provider account synchronized, backup photo before going any further. Yeah, you can back up all your files on your tablet because it will erase everything. Okay, so it says to connect uh, to PC, but this, you have to make sure you saved everything because this, and I will say, uh, I'm not responsible for any data loss or um, breaking your device. Yeah, okay, I'm just following along the tutorial. I'm, ju I just, um, I'm just uh, sharing it with you, okay? So, when you did this, we can unlock the book loader. So if you are a newbie, you don't know what the fuck we are, I'm talking about. Uh, unlocking the boot loader is um, on any uh, Android device for a long time, since the beginning, I think. Um, it's to, to have kind of some admin rights or something like this, and you can do a lot of stuff with your device unlocked. So this is a standard step that you, maybe those who are a little familiar may, may know for 10 years or more. Okay, so what you need to do, I will, um, I will show you with a video that we will see right now. Okay, so now we are on the Nexus 7.
we go here what you need to do is unlock the bootloader so to do this you go into the settings you go into um, about tablet you go into the model which is the build number you tap on it and you have to tap on this seven times and then it will unlock um, the developer rights and then you go to system you go down you have developer options that is enabled okay and um, to turn USB debugging on so you go down you have USB debugging here you turn this on you click OK which is right here okay then you go back to your PC and uh, what you do is you go to the GB folder so here okay you go um, flash okay and then what you do here is um, you can click here on the address bar it's to launch a command uh, window on Windows into this folder which is C user uh, desktop Nexus A um, blah 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 so you put CMD you write CMD then you hit enter okay you can hit enter and then it will open a command uh, window into the folder so this is what you need to do then um, you connect the tablet to your PC so here I have this I will connect it I will not do it but you connect it okay then it recognizes your tablet as a normal tablet blah blah and then you open so this window okay you enter the command so you can copy this and paste it right here okay then you click enter and um, what you do it will run a command and then it will return uh, something like this not this code it will return a, a code you don't care it will be unauthorized um, blah 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 waiting for authorization on tablet authorize adb command so you have a dialog box on the, you will have the dialog box on your tablet you click ok then uh, you put this code you copy it your tablet is still connected you copy this code right here okay you click enter and if um, it worked the tab will restart and uh, it will display a druid it will be like lock state locked and then you need to enter this command so you copy same way you copy and paste here you do the same thing copy and paste this you click enter and then using the volume key on uh, your tablet you will have you can use them here on the side you can navigate and you will click on um, unlock bootloader and to validate you press the power button so you have here the plus minus and the power button you do this and then it will unlock your tablet um, so this is a troubleshooting if you have any problem um, you can maybe ask me in the comments uh, but I'm not responsible but I will try to help you my best um, okay tablet is unlocked um, six turn and power to confirm you can so then your tablet uh, you I don't remember but I think you maybe you can you have to restart it from the bootloader so you navigate with the volume key you put click restart and you restart then you need to um, to configure Android quickly so you go do all the stuff uh, Google account blah 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 then um, you need to restart uh, your tablet to the bootloader one more time so you you your tablet uh, I think may still be connected okay then you go back here and you put um, again into the bootloader okay then you press enter here your tablet will again uh, go into the bootloader then you need to flash the TWRP 3.7 recovery which is a kind of a software at the boot and with this you can manage uh, OID boots 
like our your tablet boot, okay? So you will enter uh, this command on Windows. So the same thing, you take this, copy it, you put it right here, okay? Then you press enter. And the, the file is uh, this one. So yeah, one thing is you need to make sure that if you have the um, if you have the Wi-Fi version, um, you need to have the flow. And if you have the other one, uh, which is LTE, you need to put this. Okay. So this code is for the Wi-Fi with the flow in the name, and this is for 4G with the deb. Okay. So you choose one of them. You copy, you paste it here, enter, and then command returns finish, total time, blah, blah, back to tablet, use volume key to select recovery, confirm with power. Okay, so you do the same thing, you may experience lagginess with the recovery. Welcome to TWRP recovery, check never show this screen during boot again, and swipe to allow modification. Okay, so the screen will be kind of uh, blue. Uh, go straight to backup, and then you just need to follow the rules, like, Check never show, blah, blah, go straight up to backup, select boot system data partition, so to backup and wait during backup. So this is the backup of your device. Back to home screen mount, tablet still connected to PC. You can access tablet storage folder from Windows Explorer, blah, 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 blah. Copy TWHV folder and paste it somewhere safe on PC. So this is, all this is to backup um, your tablet in case of crash. So you can follow these steps to backup if you are like uh, a cowboy and you don't want to backup, you can bypass this. Okay, then you need to format partition. Um, so uh, for this, you have to go, uh, you are still in the TWRP, so it's a blue interface. Uh, you go to wipe, format data, type yes and confirm with button right check icon. Now I go to wipe, advanced wipe. You just follow along all these things. Uh, in 2023, you should use repeat to repartition. Um, this I didn't uh, use, um, I think. So, um, yeah, you can try to use it at your own right. I think, I think it's not the one. Yeah, I didn't use this. But with this, I think it works for the G apps. I didn't use it. So if you want to make it work with the G apps, you may try with this. If you don't care about the G apps, follow along. If I'm not mistaken. Back to mount menu, so you go back, blah blah, from Windows Explorer, now copy. So you are in the mount menu, so your tablet is connected to your PC. And you can transfer files. So you do this, and you copy the system report which is uh, here, okay? So you copy this one, this zip, you copy to your tablet. Disconnect tab, back to tablet, go to install, and you install this. Go to reboot, recovery, and swipe to reboot. Yeah, it tells you that the, now the repartition tablet is called Flux instead of Flow. But I think on my installation, I'm not sure it worked really well, this step. But follow, do it. Do it, and you will see. Uh, flash Android plus J apps. So on restart, check never show the screen during boot again and swipe to allow modification. Same as uh, even before. You connect the tablet to PC. Back to mount menu. Okay, so now your tablet is recognized by your PC, same way. And you can transfer. Um, you can transfer. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Ah, yeah, it's here. Uh, so I have here the two ROMs, but you can also either this one or just this one or the two. Uh, you will only install once, one at, at a time. So you transfer this. And if you want to try with the G apps, you um, you can transfer this also. Okay. Now what you do um, is you go to TWRP. You are still in, in the blue menu. You do you go to install, and you select the lineage zip. Okay. So the lineage zip will be. This one, if you want Android 13, okay. This all this is on your tablet. Huh? You do this on your tablet. 
Um, you can add more zips um, and swipe to install, but for this installation in particular, I don't recommend you um, installing the gapps right now because for me it didn't work. So just install Lineage 20. So you just select this, you click install, and you will see if it works. If it works, maybe you can try with gapps or you can stay like this. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. If you get the R70, blah, 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 blah. Repeat, reboot, recovery with Magisk. Magisk is something to help you, but you don't need it. Um, if you want it, you can try. You don't need it. And then you will have Android 13 installed. When done with message prompt, tap on wipe cache Dalvik and swipe to wipe. Disconnect tap from PCs and reboot. Let the tab start a few minutes. And then you can, this is optional, you can install this. I'm gonna let you read, nothing special. Other apps, Netflix and Disney, blah, blah, blah. But now you should be working and you should have what I have right here. And you should be running Android 13 on your tablet. So yeah, if it worked for you, tell me in the comments. Uh, I know it's not the best uh, tutorial because I don't want to do it again, um, but I tried my best to show you. Um, yeah, so that was about it. Uh, if you like this video, put a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. And uh, if I can help you in any way, just put it in the comments. I will try my best. But like I said, not responsible to break it, for you to break your device. I'm not responsible for anything. I'm just trying to help you uh, and doing a little video on the tutorial from my um, my friend GB89. Thank, thanks, GB89, to for reviving my little tablet. Thank you very much. Bye bye.